And all of a sudden, we saw AlexNet, um, this new algorithm uh, that that is uh, completely different co than computer vision algorithms before it, uh, take a giant leap in terms of capability for computer vision. And when we saw that, it was partly out of interest, but partly because we were struggling with something ourselves. And so we were we were highly interested to want to see it work. And um, but the big breakthrough, I would say, uh, is when we when we saw AlexNet, we asked ourselves, you know, how far can AlexNet go? If it can do this with computer vision, how far can it go? And if it if it could go to the limits of what we think it could go, um, the type of problems it could solve, what would it mean for the computer industry, and what would it mean for the computer architecture? And we were we were um, uh, we rightfully reasoned that if machine learning, if these deep learning architecture can scale, uh, the vast majority of machine learning problems could be represented with deep neural networks. And the type of problems we could solve with machine learning is so vast that it has the potential of reshaping the computer industry altogether, and which prompted us to uh, re-engineer the entire computing stack, which is where uh, DGX came from and this little baby DGX sitting here.